I think understanding the attitudes and values of parents um, and their opinions helps them to engage. And then once we've got parents engaged, they really are there for their child to ensure that they achieve the best possible outcome. So if parents are just kind of passive um, and going with whatever trend might be at the, at the time, the students are in danger of going down the wrong path or perhaps just following something which is perceived to be quite easy to follow. Um, whereas if parents are really engaged and informed, they can help their young person to make the very best possible decisions and follow the pathway that's right for them. You can inform people of everything, but they're not going to take it on board until they're actively getting involved in the situation. So um, if I just think about National Apprenticeship Week, uh, we sent out a newsletter, but it had interactive links so the parents could click on it, listen to videos about the different career sectors and apprenticeships that were available. So to be able to do it practically and invite parents in to see in action, so our Pathways evening, talking to those employers that provide apprenticeships, talking to the colleges and the six forms, getting the parents actively involved means that they're asking the right questions or they're getting the responses to the questions they don't even know they're supposed to be asking. In the past, um, we we've invited apprenticeship providers, universities and employers to parents' evenings. So um, when parents are already coming into school and having conversations with teachers about their grades and where their child is at right now, we encourage them to also have those conversations about what they're going to do after, um, after they leave school and preparing them for the world of work when they do leave. Well, well I went to an event, it was a law and sport event, um, and I met so many amazing people. Um, I spoke to a number of different sports lawyers, barristers, um, f um, club officials and essentially I just networked and had different conversations with different people, took contacts, uh, connected on LinkedIn. It was great to put myself out there. Apart from school, your family members are the next best thing to the people that spend the most time with you. And, you know, you don't know what connections you could find through your family members. For example, one of my other sisters currently works in the Bank of England and she was able to get me some work experience there in the summer. So, it, you know, it's talking to your, you know, relatives. You know, they, someone always knows someone that knows someone. So it's very important to make sure you're communicating with them. You don't know where you're going to end up. Uh, so near the start of year 11, there was a um, there was a day we went to Telford College to um, experience some of the stuff they do, and then we also went to Shrewsbury College to have a tour around there to see their facilities as well. Uh, it reassures me because you see what's there and what is available, rather than just looking at like your stuff on your computer or your phone. So you can go to the college and see what what they offer uh, like face to face. Yeah, the most impactful event we went to was the careers fairs that they put on. There's so many wide ranges of different careers that are there, obviously, and, and that was great. You could just go from one thing and know, yes, to different ones, and the ones that, when you could single out the ones and the areas and the path choices that he was gonna make. Our biggest event, which we run annually in November, is our Pathways Evening, and we invite years nine, 10, and 11. And what's great about that is we don't just have the colleges and the sixth forms. We also have universities, we have training providers, and then we have employers that are engineering employers that bring actual like mini sized tanks and things like that so that they've got that practical element to it and it makes it a bit more interactive for them and because the parents then come with the students if a student is a little bit more um, scared or shy to ask those questions and that then the parents will start the ball rolling and then our providers will take over and actually lead them into the conversations that they need. Schools do so much great work on teaching students about careers and sometimes it's lost between the school gate and home. So parents need to be told this is what we're doing but this is how you can help us do it.